um, at this point, probably you've done, you know, one or two projects where you're actually putting some paint on and not using it all up. And so uh, you're probably getting a messy palette. I intentionally didn't clean this one up for a couple of uh, quick little projects just to show you how easy this is and why you don't need to get any paint in your sink, okay? So all I'm gonna do is take my sprayer, uh, which is just water. I'm gonna spray everything in here. I'm gonna put not a ton of water, just enough to get everything a little bit damp. This is in a butcher tray. Butcher trays are very handy because you can, uh, you can get a little bit of water in there and it won't run all over the tabletop. If you have a flat palette or paper palette, then um, you can do this with a flat palette as well. But what you might notice is all, it, all I've done is get it wet, right? And this paint that was dry a second ago, completely dry, all I've done is dampen it and it's gotten very fragile. Um, and if it was, since it's this open paint, sometimes it just skins up you get a little uh, skin of paint on the top, and then it uh, if you just scratch that once it's wet, it's wet underneath, right? So that skin is all that was keeping it together. Uh, other of the colors, like the ones that are Galleria, as soon as they're wet, they just come right up, like, like a bad sunburn on an old Scottish guy. So um, that's, how, that's how easy that is to clean up. And so you, that's one of the reasons why you have your palette knife and why it's called a palette knife. It's for cleaning the palette. And um, you don't have to scrape. You don't have to get up on the edge of this too much. If the paint doesn't come up easily, just spray some more water on it. I mean, look at how fast that was. Didn't have to, you know, set it aside for a long time. All I'm doing is getting the, the thing damp. And then what you're going to do is take a couple of your paper towels, um, this is not just because I'm uh, Scottish and cheap, but uh, also because I, I know how the studio works. So when things are dirty, they're too dirty to clean your brush anymore. Um, this is a great thing to set them aside for. So I just fold up dirty paper towels. Um, they're too dirty to use with watercolor. Uh, save them for this. Scrape up the old paint, kind of glop it into the paper towel like this. So I'm not, I'm not going to dump any paint at all down the drain. So when you're done with your palette, just let the paint dry because it is legal in California to throw away dry paint. It is illegal to throw away wet paint for a lot of reasons. And one of the most important is when it's wet, it, it's still able to dissolve in water, which means it can go into the environment uh, in a landfill and landfills have enough toxic crap uh, you know, it'll be a long time before anybody's going to plant an organic garden in a landfill. So let's not add to that. You don't want water running off or you don't want the pollutants coming off of that and going into the environment. So you just take this, take a couple of old, uh, dirty paper towels and just wipe it up. And then set the paper towels aside. You know, uh, you don't have to, like nothing special, just throw them in the trash, but don't seal it. Just let the air get to them and they'll dry. And as soon as those paper towels are dry, it's ready to be thrown out. So I just throw them in a bucket in the studio. So I've got a, you know, just a plain old Home Depot $2 bucket. And that's it, right? So no putting it in the sink, don't wash the paint down the drain, don't put it in your toilet, don't do anything like that. Just let it dry and wipe it up. Uh, oil paint. And that's it, uh, clean palette, okay? Um, so this works with the Galleria paints. They dry a little faster. This works with Golden Opens. It works with the Utrecht paints. So this is just fine with acrylic paints. Oh, and uh, this isn't a commercial by any means, but if the paint has dried, uh, the paint I just cleaned up came up pretty quickly because it's only been dry for a day or two, right? So you've got about a day, maybe two days uh, if, it's, if it's cold. But if it's hot and dry, 
you want to clean the paint up as you know when it's dry or when you're done with it just spray it down mop it up it'll come up so you don't need to ever put paint down your sink or ever in your toilet or wet paint in your trash but if you forgot if the tray got really dry say um you know the paint has has gotten uh, pretty uh crunchy then um do the process spray it down with just plain old water and put a lid on it like so i just use uh, an old plastic canvas um plastic wrapped canvas from the art store and i just put that over the palette so it just stays humid inside and put a drop of murphy's oil soap in it uh, the murphy's oil soap will slowly break it down and an hour or two after it's done that, you can scrape most of the paint off. If you have to do it two or three times, um, you're still not putting it in the sink. You're still not putting it in the trash. And it's best to clean up the palette when it's um, just dry, right? So you don't want to wait until it's completely cured out. If you come back a year later, it's going to be a much tougher process. That'll involve scouring. But uh, even then, if you soak it in water, uh, pour the water out, and uh, wipe it out with a scrubbing like one of the scrubbing sponges from the sink you can get really tough paint out okay so um under under no circumstances should you put paint down the drain okay that's it